The cord is a three-wire, 18-gauge cord. Power cords tend to receive lots of abuse. The cord can be cut, nicked, internally damaged, or have a prong broken off. A damaged cord should be immediately replaced to avoid an electric shock. Replacing the cord is a repair that you can do yourself, and I'm going to show you how. Hi, I'm Mark Soja. Do-it-yourself repairs like these are easier than you might think. From lawn machines to cordless drills, kitchen mixers, outdoor grills, our how-to videos walk you through each repair from start to finish. So doing it yourself means never having to do it alone. Let's get started. I'll begin by removing the handle cover. With the cover removed, now I can go ahead and remove the cord wires from the switch. First the black wire, and then the white. And I'll remove the grounding wire from the frame. And now I'll remove the cord clamp to release the cord from the housing. With the cord removed, now I can remove the cord protector. Now I can begin installing the new cord. First, I need to cut each of the wires to length. And I'll use the old cord as a guide to do this. First, the white and black wires. Check the ground wire, and it's a little long, so we'll cut it down. And now I'll strip back about 5 16 inch of insulation from each of the wires. And I'll install a new eyelet on the grounding wire. The white and black wires will need to be tinned, and we'll do that next. Tinning is a process of applying solder to the wire to make it solid where we insert it into the switch. To do that, I'll first apply a little flux to the wire, then heat the wire and apply solder. And now I'll do the white wire. Now I'll reinstall the cord protector. and the cord is ready to be reinstalled to the tool. I'll align the cord protector with the housing, and I'll pull the cord jacket so about 3 eighths of an inch extend past the cord clamp. I'll secure the wire with the clamp. Now I can reinstall the cord wires to the switch. First the white, and then the black. Now I'll reinstall the grounding wire, and I'll tuck the wires back into the housing. And now I'll reinstall the handle cover. And that's all it takes to install a new power cord on your power tool. Be sure to check back often for new videos and expert advice. If you found this video helpful, give us a thumbs up and leave a comment.